Do you need some cards from today's episode? Well, you can pick them up and support the show from our sponsor, Card Kingdom. Just follow the link in the description box down below. Welcome, everybody. It is I, yours truly, your host, Krim, also known as the Asian Avenger. Today on Fish 5 we're going to be playing Abzan Midrange. So pretty much this is the, you know, explore package that we've all come to know and love with Wild Growth Walker, J-Light, Merfolk Branch Walker. But we've got the sweet, sweet God Eternal Ketra and, and you know, Elyra and Tristani and whatnot, right? But the question is, why are we adding the black? Well, although this is mostly Celestia, there is the addition of black because we get a few other cards. As you can see here, we get Soren, Vengeful Bloodlord, which can reoccur some of our Jade Lights. Our Wild Growth Walkers gain more life for us because of its passive. Also potentially pick off um, uncommon Planeswalkers, the ones with only minuses. And, you know, like let's just say they go uh, three mana to fairy, bounce a creature. We can play Soren, take it down, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And just nice to have a, a nice uh, card that can help us grind the long game. Of course, we also get Vraska Golgari Queen, just also able to help us uh, play the late game by sacrificing too many, like when we have too many lands, we sacrifice them, gain a life, draw a card. On top of that, we can also pick off any non-land permanent that is converted mana cost three or less with the minus, so which, which is very relevant. And of course, an emblem that actually does win the game. And then we have things out of the sideboard, you know, Duress, D-Spark, uh, cards like that, and of course the Elder Spell with all the Planeswalker decks running around right now. So pretty much the black is mostly here for us to like pretty much hate out all the Planeswalker decks or help us fight the Planeswalker decks while giving us a little bit of a few cards to also help us grind the long game. So let's see how this deck does in the queues. So without holding up any longer, see you in the arena. We're up against an NPC. Let's see what loot we can get from this NPC. Uh, I'll keep this. We have a pretty sweet mana base here. We got the Paradise Druid to go ahead and drop a potential earlier uh, Vrosko Golgari Queen. Turn three, won't complain. Lead with the Overgrown Tomb, naturally. All right. Sun Petal Grove into Paradise Druid. Your move, opponent. Just going to sit here and shuffle my modern deck. Da, 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 da. Oh, nice. Okay, nothing. Sweet. So we're just going to go ahead and play Vraska. Vraska will go up. I don't really want to sacrifice anything yet. Um, I, I, I kind of want to get to my natural mana here and all that. Okay. Vraska. Looks like we got the emblem early. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why we won that one. So we saw that they were in green, but I don't think they're mono green. I don't know what to bring in. Huh. What a time when Vivian used to be one of the best planeswalkers in standard. Vivian Reed, that is. Uh, is Golgari Queen good here? I don't... Nah. I could just run it back. I think whatever it is, I'm probably going to want D-Spark. I'm probably going to want... Not Night of Autumn, sorry. Uh, I mean, Tulsimir's pretty sweet. But I want another Tristani. Go down the Vivian... We want to be able to keep up with their ramp, which I assume they have. Bring in another Lyra. Just like all of our solid big threats, I guess. Maybe down a few elves. Not the worst. Do we want a Carnage Tyrant? Nah, we'll be fine. We don't need Carnage Tyrant. We'll be okay. Like, I mean, we haven't seen anything of their deck yet, right? Like, we know that they are currently at least green. Potentially more. They mulligan last game. They mulligan this game down to six. We'll keep another seven. This one with a Llanowar Elf in the starter. All right, so they're green-red. All right, we'll shock with Overgrown Tomb. Hope they don't shock us back. It's Grohl. Oh, it's cool. See you later. Lead off with Wild Growth Walker. Normally, I want to wait until I can play Wild Growth Walker plus something else to grow it, but right now, I see no reason. Oh, don't tell me you have it. Oh, they have it. Darn. They are coming out, like, of the gates right now, just blowing up all my stuff. Uh, three, four. I'll just graveyard that. I don't need that. Go ahead and play the Godless Shrine. 
All right, no dragon. Oh, that's so good. We're going to be like a turn behind here because next turn's our turn four. I guess we could play Shalai. Shalai can sit up and block. Okay. Pass. Let's hope they don't have something. So they animate. That's fine. They can't swing with their 4-4 uh, dragon. Not unless they have something for Shalai. Okay. A phoenix. Okay. All right. We can either A, we played the Lyra. We can swing in, gain some life, no point. Let's just sit back. Because we swing in, Sarkhan will hurt us. So we just need to wait a turn until we can get Shalai's activated ability online. All right, Growth Chamber Guardian. They could double block next turn, but that'd be a little bit of a problem, wouldn't it? We need to get rid of this Phoenix. See, if they double block, what happens? Not much, right? Because I can kill one of these? Sure. Fine. See if they double block here. Well, I'm just going to grow the whole team. That's fine. I mean, we just need to gain life, right? So as long as we're gaining life, that's all we care about. So they make another dragon. That's going to be a problem. Because now they start dealing two damage. And a phoenix. Jeez, how do we get past all of this? Can we get past all of this? I guess we can, huh? Now we can. Okay, now we don't attack. I mean, Lyra's the only thing that can attack. All right. All right. They're about to go off and build their own board, but luckily we have another creature to play. So that feels good. So we can kind of just go as wide as they can, except for whenever a creature attacks you or a Planeswalker you control. So we need to get rid of the Sarkon pretty fast. So Assassin's Trophy, D-Spark, any of those things. Not a forest. Um, we pass again. Now we just build our board. They can't target any of our stuff. They have to, like, blow up Lyra. But Lyra right now is currently at 5-6, so it doesn't die to a simple Lava Coil or a single Lightning Strike. This is fine. 3-6, 3, six, three six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, let's get a land. Well, not that many, but okay, sure. Okay, so now we can grow our team three, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's fine. This is just going to go into a nice board stall. I like it. Okay. They sent in their two phoenixes. Alright, so our whole team has grown. We gain seven, take four, that's not a big deal. So 
three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So three, six. All right, soon we can start double activating. I guess we could attack in the air, right? Because by then, the only two things that can block are the two dragons, right? And we get we get first strike from this, so it won't even matter. And they have to send something in the air at this. I mean, they already know we're going to grow everything on the our board, so... They have to block with a dragon. If they, because they, they're gonna have to block with a dragon. That's all I know. Because they swung with the phoenix, uh, phoenix's last turn. Nice, and we got there. Paris, good luck, opponent. Sure, I'll keep this. We have a land or elf. Hopefully, this match goes much faster than the last one. We had a little bit of a slog fest last game. Lead with elf. Hope they don't have anything. Uh, this isn't good. I actually should have just dealt them one instead of the uh, playing my Temple Garden here. Kind of need to draw a card, so I'm actually sacrifice something right now. Cause we have we have mana. I'm not concerned about that. We definitely have mana. Sure, Thought Erasure. They probably take the Branch Walker. Yep, seems good. Have to be a little cautious here because it looks like we might be walking into... Oh, nice. Minus. Uh, definitely grabbing that. We won't sacrifice anything here. And then we just send in two. They're on the Guild Gate Tribal. They might have Elder Spell. Alright, Bedevil? Sure. I'm just gonna deal them two and pass. See what they do after. All right, we're going to end a turn play Tristani. Let's see. Vigilance, Reach. That's oh, minus. There we go. Huh. Interesting. I can just attack in, can't I? All right. Damage, got rid of Bolus. Pass to them. Let them figure out what they would like to do. Ritual of Soot here does kind of dunk us, but only slightly. Kevin. Is that Kevin? That is Kevin. I could have done this and and pumped and whatnot too. Starting over the only way. Nice. Got there. Got there. Alright, so we're up against Grix's control, meaning we want Carnage Tyrant. Probably want a few D Sparks. Ixlon's binding's pretty clutch. Elder spell, maybe. I mean, we want to rest, that's for sure. Lana Werewolf, probably not the best. Doesn't really do anything here. Assassin's Trophy, solid. Vivian does do some work. Soren, maybe. Uh, Vraska, maybe. Johnny, no. Vivian, yes, as it deals with four mana Bolas. Take out some wild growth walkers against him. It's fine. We don't really need him. A Soren is the one where I can see me possibly wanting. Like, Soren coming back or giving us our stuff back is pretty nice. Elder Spell, I could see me wanting a few of those too in the event they have a bunch of Planeswalkers. But we could just despark all their Planeswalkers, can't we? But if, if, it, if they ever get a critical mass, we should probably get rid of them all. Let's bring in another Elder Spell. Blank there. Uh, we'll go a little more on the bigger side of the, the curve. This way, they can't just simply use Ritual of Soot to kill us. Like, Ritual of Soot won't do anything. Cry the Carnarium mostly won't do anything, and along with Ritual of the Soot, so. Yeah, I'll keep.
Well, let's find out. Do they have the turn two thought erasure? The answer is yes. <laughs> Always yes. <laughs> yep, seems good. Negate, Narset. Huh, interesting. They have tons of ways to deal with our Planeswalkers, so that's not a big deal. All these negates, sure. I guess we can get rid of uh, a Narset. Narset seems like a good target to get rid of. Because we can blow up the other one. I don't care if they negate anything. We don't we don't have anything for them, to, like many things for them to negate. We could even try to blow up this blue land. If we really wanted to, but like force the negate out of their hand. Okay, see what you got. Sure. I think I am gonna blow up this Narset. Yeah, it ramps them and they get a they get negate mana, but most of our decks still should be creatures. So these negates shouldn't mean too much to me. So they don't have any other islands. Interesting. So we could actually have attacked their islands. Very interesting. Well, I'm just going to play Tristani. And then I'm just going to play Lyra. And then we leave them with Negate. Ongrass Rampage makes me sacrifice a token. They could just go and play Enter the God Eternals, blow this up, but that's fine. That means they're mostly tapped out, right? Cool. So if I draw a mana source here, we get to resolve Vivian. Just a simple any color mana source. Uh, not what we wanted, but it's fine. Darn it. Ritual of Soot. Why? Well, they got they gotta use it, right? On Grath's Rampage. We'll get the negate out of their hand. Okay, cool. One way or the other, we got the negate out of their hand. So we sack uh Lyra. We play Vivian. Try to start digging. Yep. I guess I'll sacrifice Lyra. Hmm. No other options. Kevin. I guess we play Vivian. Kefnet gets out of here. Kefnet goes third from the top. They play Bolus. We eat Bolus permanently. Well, here's another Tristani. Pass to them, see what they do about it. Enter the God Eternals again. All right. No one knows the wilds like I do. See what you got in hand. All right, Nico Bolas. Fine. We have chump blockers. They have chump blockers, but the thing is we can go ahead and just eat their uh, bolus with our binding. Get rid of the branch walker. It's fine. Sure. Let them draw that again. Not dead yet. We know for a fact they can't do anything about our token. They have to spend the time, kill our token, or kill our Lyra, and then we'll, we'll, they can deal with our token. Another Kevin, you got it.
That's a feel bad. Okay. Yep. All right, so they have a lot of Kefnets coming in here. So we're just going to have to uh, try to find some bodies to throw in front of this 4-4 in the meantime. Because if that's a Bedevil or anything, it doesn't work. But if it's a, you know, an Ongrath's Rampage, that does, however, work. There are about to be two Kefnets coming. At least we know Kefnet, they're like pretty much like jammed with Kefnets. Good old Kevins. Um, I guess I'll take an Oketra. All right, sweet. Now we're okay with Kev Kevin. Because if they board wipe, it doesn't do anything. Nice. We got there. Round three looks like it's up against Leorn. Uh, I'll play first. You know, I don't like that we don't have a turn one play here. Because of the awkward mana, but... Sure, I'll keep it. Maybe they'll think I'm on Esper. Godless Shrine, first turn. That's definitely Esper. Oh, no. They're going to have an answer. <laughs> Uh-oh. No shock? Aw, oh, yeah. That just means they have to Lightning Strike. Dreadhorde Arcanist. Dreadhorde Arcanist. Okay, well, we're going to try to do this then. We're going to play Vraska. Vraska's going to blow up the Dreadhorde Arcanist. We got rid of the uh, Dreadhorde Arcanist, at least. We know Feather can't happen right now, because that's white, white, red, if they even play white. But they do have a, an, an ample amount of, like, hasters. Okay. Is it black, red zombies? Yo, that's pretty sweet. Skullduggery. No, he got Skullduggeried. Uh, no need to sacrifice anything. Decline. Let's just keep our Planeswalkers alive. Oh, I forgot to play a land. I forgot to play a land. Oh my gosh, I forgot to play a land. That's so bad. Even my, like, hand lit up. I don't even know what that does. Oh, if they play more than one spell, it flips, right? Yeah, okay. Ugh. Two turns behind now. Oh, that's a feel bad. I have the ability to also play things at flash, but sorry. Sorry, YouTube. You can roast me. You can roast me. That was a feel bad. That was a super feel bad. Because right now, we would have already had a Tristani. Or a Lyra. Yes, I will be blocking. I gotta make sure this Diagraph Ghoul dies. So it'll actually live up to its Diagraph name. <laughs> nice. At least we know we're safe inside our mind. Our opponent does not know that we didn't play a land. <laughs> oh, YouTube. I already know right now YouTube's popping off. They're like, whoa, whoa, we need to play a land. Why? <laughs> what can they do? All right, so that's two spells. We shock, play Tristani. Why do I keep playing things at instant, I mean, at sorcery speed? Oh, because I, I want to uh, try to see if I can get... No, not even, actually, when I think about it. I wouldn't even sacrifice one of my tokens. All right, let's go pull some cards now. Soren? Oh, wait, Soren doesn't get god. Oh, another misplay. Why would they even light that up? 
It should be like if you have a creature, like it should be the only thing that lights up. Read your cards. All right, YouTube, we're just going to ignore this disaster of a game three so far that I've made. We were just kidding. We just wanted to exile Soren to keep the game balanced and fair. Why would I want to exile a Soren? Oh, brutal. You know, we could have gotten that back had we had a Soren. <laughs> right, this card needs to go. Make him use like another burn spell, sure, whatever. But at least it's gone. All right, let's see if we learn from our mistakes today. An unfortunate casualty. All right, pass to the opponent. Yeah. A lightning strike is definitely going to end our Vivian here, so we should probably get ready to flash all our stuff in. Hmm. At the Vraska, huh? Okay. We can live with that. Like, Vivian's the more important character. I, I mean, the Planeswalker that we want to keep. All right, let's go ahead and just play Branchwalker. Graveyard, we don't want that. Play a Paradise Druid at the end of their turn. I'm just going to go ahead and sacrifice this godless shrine. We'll just play the wild growth walker. This wonderful, wonderful little friendly neighborhood paradise druid can stay. I mean, we could get a, could have given it Vigilance to get in too, but was it Skullduggery time? Oh, a murder. I'll just pass. I don't really need to attack here. Alright, so Lightning Strike probably should kill this Vivian. Unless their hand is just like loaded with a bunch of sweet like three or less CMC cards. That's interesting. I wonder what they have in hand. And a shock. Wow, that Vraska just gained us like so much life. Sure. Send all of that in. And now if they try to play their any burn spells on our, our creatures, we'll just go ahead and flash in Shalai. Give them hexproof. It's like black red zombies? Maybe black red burn and zombies? Come on, use a removal spell. You know you got a removal spell. Do it. Skullduggery or something. Yeah, there it is. Nice. You fight like a city brat. Other zombies they control have death touch. Plus one, plus one. All right, cool. Sweet. And we got there. All right, let's go to the game two here. Hmm. Probably want Tulsimir. Um, probably a Tristani, maybe another Lyra, a few Ixalan's Bindings. And what are we taking out here? Skullduggery is kind of an annoying card against us. <laughs> we want the Wild Growth Walkers, that's for sure. Guess we don't need that many... Vivian's no Vivian was clutch <laughs> granted Vivian did like gain us like a hundred thousand life Vivian grabs a land. she's not that great on the draw 
when everything they can do is like faster than us. No, I might actually drop Vivian, get a fine finality, because we might need the sweeper. Because three mana Vivian isn't hot when, when you know, you're on the draw, they're going to flood the board before you. Magical cards are in our hand we're keeping. There are seven magical cards. We will keep all of them. All right. Lead with the Overgrown Tomb. Sun Petal Grove, Paradise Druid into what is potentially Soren, Or just a Najani. Oh. Here's that aggressive start we were talking about. This is a way different game. They have quite the aggressive start here. Maybe we don't even play any of these Planeswalkers. We wait till we get Lyra, slam Lyra on the board, but murder just destroys us. Holy cow. Okay. <laughs> sure. No blocks. Okay, we're like in a little bit of a pickle, aren't we? Like, does this qualify as a pickle? Should we just play a Johnny? Shock, a Johnny gain three, see what happens? But I don't want to lose three, five, seven, so go down to four. Um, I could do that. Play a Johnny, gain three, go down to nine, go up to 12. Take all this, right? Johnny gains me like... Yeah, you know what? That's fine. Gain some life, throw it out there as a way to just give him some kind of distraction. Oh my lord. 3, 7, 10, 13. We're dead. Cool. We're dead. That's 3, 7, 10, 13. We can't, we can't keep that alive. Had I left up a blocker, sure. Interesting. So, we need to go significantly faster than our opponent. That was a disgustingly fast start from the opponent, but that changes this game. All of our planeswalkers seem a little, little bad. Except for Vraska. Vraska actually blows something up. So I'll keep that. I don't think I can keep this. I can barely keep this. So, all right, sure, I'll keep it. Jade Light, great, but not in this exact situation. We, we need to get on the board early. That Zombies deck got off to a fiery hot start last game. Pretty terrifying, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and just play this Branch Walker. It looks like they might have a Shock, so or a Shivan Fire or something. Or a Scald. Like, yeah, like it, it's one, one mana burn spell of sorts. Yep, there you go. I'll keep that on top. This way, whatever they play, they won't get to play again. So this includes... All right, let's see if this works. All right, so they have another shock or something like that. Some kind of removal spell. We need lands, so we're just going to dig for lands. Seems good. You know what? I'll, I'll keep it. It's fine. All right, come on. Come on. Just one more land. One more land. Dreadhorde Arcanist. Got it. When it attacks, they can shock, but they have to murder to get rid of my uh, God Eternal Oketra. I will not be blocking. Actually, yeah, I won't be blocking because this has double strike. Or, I mean, this has death touch. I'm definitely going to get rid of... Uh... No blocks. Sweet. Now we can uh, trade.
Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> that's really bad. If they minus... Well, can they even minus? No, it's yeah, each player, not target player. Okay, that's fine. We can actually just immediately take that, Lily. Underneath the binding, we'll be fine. I mean, I'm, I'm not leaving this up to block anything other than that, I guess. So that's fine. I'm just I'm just going to hit him. Get the clock going. Then we're going to play Lyra next turn. Sure, that's fine. We still have first strike on this, so that's not that big a deal. It's barren. Interesting. We got an angel. And now they're even more inclined to attack. Because now we just gain life. All day long. We do, however, need to get rid of some of these cards as soon as possible. Because as soon as they find a murder, they can actually just go ahead and kill us with it. Kill two of our threats off with it. Because Dreadhorde Arcanist will be three power. So they right now are desperately looking for a murder. Okay. So I guess they could send that either at Shalai or themselves. Or one of their own creatures. <laughs> Yep. We're going to double block here because this gives both first strike there. So even if it grows past a certain uh, amount of health, we can still kill. Sure. And now we just go in. They could choose whether or not they want to send something in front, but all good to me. We withered down their board, which is all that matters. And then we attack again. Nice. Good game. House 45195. Good luck, opponent. That was pretty interesting, though. I did like our opponent's deck last, last game. Do love checking and, and seeing some zombies get, getting played. I hope with M20 we get a bunch of sweet zombies. Um, Yeah, let's just start with Overgrown oh, Tune Tap. I'm not playing any in this on turn two anyway, so we'll be fine. Whoa! What is this? Celestia. Oh no, it's tokens. Okay, we're we're starting with the wild growth walker immediately. This can't be good. Oh <laughs> Okay, yeah, there it is. I have to graveyard that because I need lands. I have to graveyard both my Vraskas because I need lands. That feels terrible. Oh, Conclave Tribunal. Gross. All right. Take six. It's fine. Come on. You need lands. Don't do this. Are you serious? Alright, cool. 
We'll get lands eventually. It's fine. Everything will be just fine. Give me a minute. <laughs> just threw away like all of our powerhouses in the first couple of turns. It feels good. Sure. All right, I will trade those off gladly every day of the week. Then I will play Soren, and then I will minus to get back a Jade Light Ranger. What do they have right now that they're holding on to that mana for? No, 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 no. All right. Jade Light, I summon you. Graveyard, I'd seriously just give me a land. <laughs> All right, there you go. Uh, we'll leave back the 4-3 Jade Light to block this one. Luckily, if they have like something like a Mortal Sun, we're not really a Planeswalker heavy deck, <laughs> especially not any after those uh, Explorers. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. That's pretty good. I have to assume they have the pump spell then. In all seriousness, I think I want to send in a Jade Light Ranger because Jade Light Ranger will then eat up most all right, cool. So we gain four. We block. That's like blocking two knights. Gideon Blackblade. Okay, that's that's a nuisance. It's fine. All at me. Makes sense. Sure. Kill a knight. Kill one of these. Four, five, six... Yeah, it's fine. Almost out. Ah. Uh. Interesting. Yes, we'll just have to do this. Shall I play Wild Growth Walker? Throw our own board. Ping down Gideon. Bring it on. What a night. How much power do they have on board there? We we want this to die though. That's the thing. So since we want the Jade Light Ranger to die, so we can bring it back to grow the Jade uh, the Walker. That's that's good news. All right, we're straight into game two. I guess we'll keep. I had a weird disconnect message, so I don't know what got brought in and what got didn't get brought in. So we're going to find out. Let's just lead with that. We won game one. I guess there was like a slight hiccup in the network or something like that. Interesting... Let's lead with that. Send in the elf for one. So now we have the ability to go ahead and play our own Tristani here. That'll be pretty nice. That'll be really good at fighting this board that our opponent has here. All right. Got some Tristani action going. So we can go land, leave up, Paradise Druid. Um, okay, that's unfortunate. Knight of Autumn is something we probably want. Library, library. I'll probably just leave this back to block, to be honest with you. Ixalan's binding. All right, see you later, I guess.
let's just keep them off their creatures. I mean, why not, right? We've got the ability to go ahead and just pile on, like, uh, graveyard. I don't want that. Probably want a little more power. That's really bad. Uh, we, we need to find the rest of our threats. So, I don't know what got brought in once again, because there was a connection error. And so, it was in the sideboarding process. So, I have no idea what got brought in at all. It's fine. Just let them trade those two in if they want. They must have something uh, at five here. Probably their own Tristani. Come on, deck. Give me some action. That's not it. We need to find our Vivian. Vivian blowing up the Conclave Tribunal would be huge. Because I think they're either about to play Tristani or, yeah, their own God of Ketra. Good thing we drew another land. Okay. With all of these, we still drew a lot of lands, huh? Yep. Can we win from here? I don't even... Like, yeah, like, that's the hardest part. I don't know what happened because it just sideboarded and then it started the match. No blocks. Whatever. Fine. We had such a good start, too. I might concede. We're drawing the super wrong half of our deck. Yeah, okay, let's concede. Let's go to the next one, because I don't know what was sideboarded. No, oh, nothing was sideboarded. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's unfortunate, but... Let's see, what else can we play? We're on the play, so we w we have the ability to just be more aggressive. But, like, Land all feels kind of bad if we draw it late. Like, they've obviously slowed down their game plan. Vivian's decent. Soren's decent. Vraska's okay. Actually, is Vraska okay? I mean, there are some things we want to blow up, but not that many. All right, let's try this. It's mostly just, like, the two mana 2-2, two -two and I guess, like, Benalia's, but it doesn't feel great. Sure, keep. Enters tapped. Temple Garden, that is. So we're going to go Overgrown Tomb into Paradise Druid. All right. Next turn, I guess we could just shock and, and play Vivian. Vivian plus. Okay. We'll just send the Paradise Druid into attack. And then next turn, we can go and play God Eternal Oketra on the end of their turn, of course. Have you ever lost a home? Nope, not going to attack into that. That's a trap. Gideon Blackblade. Okay, sure. Indestructible. You got it. I mean, I could just swing in and double strike at Gideon. I could just blow up Gideon. Now let's keep digging. They can do whatever. I don't really mind if they want to uh, go ahead and block and kill off my Paradise Druid. That's okay with me, too. All right, sweet. Pass the opponent. So now we can go Branch Walker, or I mean Wild Growth Walker. Excellent Binding. Sure, into what? Petra? Uh, 
And we're just going to go ahead and take the action, put it right back into the top. Nice. Got there. Loro is going to be our last round opponent, the final boss. The person that decides whether or not we go 5 and 0. Oh. Let's see if we can live up to the series title and get some fish 5 0 going. All right. Three mana. Oh, what is this? Esper? That's slightly terrifying. I should have shocked. I should have shocked. Yeah, it's Esper. It's Esper. Okay, okay, okay. No! No! There goes our Soren. It's Soren. There's no one else but Soren. No! No! Why? <laughs> Why would you take my beloved Soren? We're gonna play this because I assume this could potentially be full control? Who knows? Okay, so it's mid. Can we win? I mean, I guess we'll find out, right? Oh, it's a feel bad. All right, well, I guess this is good to see, though. I mean, I don't normally see the versions with Thief anymore, but it's good to see how this matchup plays out for the most part. We just got to find our Tristani, right? That's all we got to do? Wow. So many lands. Fairy Time Raveler probably bounces Wild Growth Walker. Yep, you got it. All at them. Just make sure Teferi's down so there's no instant speed board wipes. I know we don't have any board wipes, but if they do hit our Lyra, that'll be a... If we find a creature right now to explore and hope that they don't hit anything good off of the top of our deck, uh, it seems like they must have because they pitched at least a Jade Light. Wild Growth Walker... Plus another explore creature. Oh, that's so rough. I think this match is over until we, unless we deal with this right now, because that's back to fifteen for them. Yeah, okay, it's over. We'll go to the next match. Uh, we can't, we can't win because they're just gonna keep connecting with thieves, and we we're kind of like hitting lands. Kind of is in we are. <laughs> um, Carnage Tyrant's gonna be good. Those are gonna be good. Fine's gonna be good. I assume. Almost like our entire sideboard is good. Don't want a bunch of mana dorks. They don't do anything. Vivian's solid. Johnny doesn't do anything. Vraska at least blows up the thieves and like the numerous other things on the ground. Uh, Vivian keeps us in the game. Trisani. Okay, so we can take out nine cards. Just take out all the walkers. The walkers don't seem that great in this matchup. I don't really care about them. Vivian coming down early is pretty solid. Vivian can be gone. Shalai is decent. Soren is going to maybe ping off a few walkers. That's about it, but I'll keep it anyways. All right, let's try this. We have Duress, Elder Spell. D Spark would be nice for Teferi. But I assume that they're going to play a bunch of board wipes this game. Whatever, we have Jade Light. Elder Spell to blow up their ridiculous level of Planeswalkers that they're probably going to build on board. Alright, there we go. Come on. There you go. Uh, I'll play that. Sun Petal Grove, and then turn three we'll drop Woodland Cemetery, and then just start dropping a few Jade Light Rangers here and there. Is it a hero time? Oh, Slaughter Racer. Okay. Well, luckily we have Redundancy and Elder Spell. So... I mean, it sucks that we lose the Elder Spell, because I assume that we're probably going to get either A, Teferi, or something else after this turn. We needed a turn two play, unfortunately.
Sure, I'll library that. Why not? It's another creature, a salt, like a semi decent threat. I guess now whatever they play, we could just blow up with Vraska, right? And we do need to just we want to make it so that we draw Carnage Tyrant, get them to board wipe. The turn after they board wipe, we play Carnage Tyrant. Well, I guess we're playing Vivi or Vraska. So now we just go and try to hit Jade Light into Paradise Druid. Missing. They go Bell Haunt, then that means we need to just. We're gonna just pitch Druid. Maybe they have D Spark. Bell Haunt, a few fours. Okay, so they have the mana they need. Okay, there's D Spark. That's good. That's good for us. Well, remember what we said? Yeah, still rings true. So we're going to try to play this right now. See if we hit some lands. We just want to get to six mana. Uh, library that, please. Okay. So, I'm going to play this onto the board because <clears throat> if they do not have... Because if they play Teferi, they bounce one of our threats. We want to make sure we have something for them. So they openly played a Teferi into this. So that means they have something, don't they? Guess we'll find out. All they have to do is kill one of our two threats on board. And this is hard <clears throat> All right, is it like Command the Dread Horde? One. Command the Dread Horde gets them three things total. All right, nice. Looks like we got that one. On the draw. Hmm. I kind of like how we boarded already, to be honest with you. Like, I guess this Vivian does help us dig a little bit, but I don't know how good that is right now. Soren doesn't seem great here, so I guess I'll go Paradise Druid so we continue to have more two-drop plays. I guess we also want multiple ways to deal with their heroes, their thieves, all this other stuff. Vraska seems pretty clutch at that. Vivian will deal with the thief. Ixalan's Binding can try to eat whatever else is on the ground. The issue is then Teferi starts bouncing stuff. But if we get rid of Teferi, like if the Ixalan's Bindings eat two Teferis, then we're okay, right? I mean, outside of the D-Spark. Keep. Solid hand. Let's see what they have. Thought Erasure, Bell Haunt. We're getting rid of Thought Erasure. So we're going to play Paradise Druid. We're going to see how fast we can ramp up here. Pretty much our game plan. Come on. Two lands. No, we want we want to get to our mana as soon as possible. I don't want to risk it, so we'll just leave it here. They play Bell Hunt, we pitch what? Branch Walker? Yeah, it seems fine. Send in the damage. Put them down to 19. If they have the board wipe, then sure, whatever. They play Teferi here. What do they have if they play Teferi though? Or like they get command the dread horde mana. They get two Jade Light, a uh, Jade Light, a Branch Walker, potentially a Bell Hunt. Seems good. Let's get to the good stuff. So what, all this goes into Teferi? That's pretty interesting. All here. 
Sure, they can kill off my mana dork. That's fine. D spark means that fairy still dies. If they D spark our Tristani. Only time will tell. That would cost them a lot of life, but no wild growth walker for them to get any of their health back. They obviously want to despark our God Eternal Oketra, right? They need to get it off the board. They need to do that right now. Because then next turn they want to fire off this uh, Command the Dread Horde. I assume. Tyrant Scorn, sure, that's fine. All fine. I don't know how much damage they can take, but whatever they bring back from our side of the board, we get back with Tristani. So that leaves them to only pretty much get back to Fairy. Tuck got Eternal Oketra, is what I assume. Okay. Seems reasonable. Yeah, let's just get rid of Teferi. Interesting. Which one do we want? Carnage Tyrant's hard for them to deal with. Seems fine. Seems fine. How do we get around our opponent's ridiculous wall here? This 3 4 is just sitting here. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> Let me do two spells in one turn here. I was like, I don't want to play Carnage Tyrant into a board wipe, right? No attack, just let them do their thing. We'll try to protect our Vivian for as long as we can. If they board wipe here, that's going to be a problem. You know what? I'm not done yet. They just can't have D-Spark or a board wipe or three fairy. They must have something, though, because they just plus to fairy instead of tucking. Oh, wow. Nice. We got there. Wow, what a finish. I kind of thought we were going to lose that Esper matchup uh, towards the end there. It was looking pretty rough. It looked like they had a ton of answers. I mean, we weren't, like, for sure going to lose, but it looked like we were in a tight spot there with a Teferi and this Bell Haunt sitting there blocking our way. But, you know, we actually got there. So 5-0, and a clean 5-0, and living up to the, you know, the title of the, the series. Fish 5-0, of course. Do I like the addition of Black? Yeah, it does actually a lot. I mean, the fact that we get to do things like D-Spark, Elder Spell, Duress, uh, even Fine Finality, which is pretty huge. And, I mean, we didn't get to make too much use of all the tr Assassin's Trophies, but Gol the Golgari Queen came through. And, you know, maybe maybe there is something that can uh, we, we can add into the deck that just gives more power to the black addition to the the green white deck that we have now essentially so uh i th i think the deck can be approved on right now we're really close to m20's release so there could be some new stuff coming out of there too to go into the abzan colors maybe a siege rhino reprint unlikely but you know what whatever um i th i think the deck is fun and the carnage tyrants are pretty sweet out of the sideboard I, you know maybe we could play a few in the main board uh, and maybe a fine finality in the main board. Because this, because I think the only issue I've got so far with this deck is the lack of main board interaction. Uh, I might have, I might have skimmed a little too much removal off this deck. Wish I had a little bit more. Um, and I, I am a huge fan of the, the Soren and whatnot, but 
Maybe Johnny the Great Hearted is a little bit more of a win more, so we can probably chop that too. So uh, thanks for watching, and as always, it means the world to me that you all come back and hang out in my videos, watch my content. As always, if you enjoy the content here that we make at MTG Goldfish, make sure you hit a like. That like, that subscribe button, and of course button mash the bell icon to be notified when a new video comes up. Um, other than that, it is I, yours truly, your host, Krim, signing out, and once again, Thank you for checking out my content. I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.